Hey guys, thanks for joining me today in this next video. Today we're going to do a bit of a Bible study on Christianity and the environment. So this weird article that I came across is basically about should religious people have a say in the global environmental conversation, right? Everybody's about saving the planet, etc. So this is funny to me because religions have always had a say about the planet. They've always been pro, you know, keep the planet going well. Some, some of them are just really weird about how they do it. So like Indian people believe that, uh, you know, cows are sacred. You can't even touch them where, you know, you can't even like touch them really to, uh, move them aside. That can be seen as bad. Uh, pagan people believe that we came from the earth itself, you know, which is, you know, halfway true. Um, <clears throat> so religion's already, it's already here. It's already been here. Science is the one catching up. Okay. So <clears throat> Christianity especially gives it, gives the earth to human beings as its responsibility. And in the, uh, beginning, God gave it to Adam specifically. So when we look at this real quick, this is Genesis 25, 15 through 24. So essentially God took the man and put him in the garden to work it and keep it. So work it is like to care for it. Keep it is to guard it. That's what those words mean. So, and he gave him the command not to eat of the fruit of the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. And I can never get that right for some reason, <laughs> but you know what I mean? And then God said, okay, it's not good that man should be alone. So he created animals and then the animals obviously didn't do the trick. So God made woman from man. Okay. Took one of his ribs, made him a, made him a wife basically. So in just in, in the same time frame that he commanded him to care for the world, the animals he gave him, he created marriage. So this is everything. This is what man is supposed to be doing, caring for the world, managing it, caring for the animals and his wife, you know, things like that. Now this also does extend to the wife because we come from him, his responsibilities we're supposed to help him with. So mankind, it's our job. That's what we're supposed to do. I think that Christianity has lost this idea because of politics and because of conversations like this one where it says the rights of nature movement want to give sacred rivers the same legal protection as people and no okay they're not people uh should we care for and and keep our rivers uh clean and clear etc yes uh does that mean that it's it has the same worth as bobby joe no it doesn't um you know, I think that those verses prove that because animals and nature didn't do anything for Adam as far as like, it wasn't the same. He couldn't just have a companion from a fox. He had to be, excuse me, God had to make him another human being. So these things are not the same. They are not equal to, to humans. So that being said, that doesn't mean we aren't caretakers of the planet. I just think that that sort of, that idea has been kind of hijacked from politics, from people who want to take it too far. I mean, I think really the way it is, is uh, Christians are more like rangers, where a ranger will do a controlled burn, which is to burn the forest, um, and things die whenever you do a controlled burn. <laughs> uh, a ranger will, if there's too much of one kind of animal, will do a controlled hunt. You know, everybody gets to do this. Um, a ranger is constantly looking at the balance in nature. And I think that that is where Christianity is. You know, the, the ranger doesn't consider the tree equal to him. He considers the tree to be cared for. Maybe to be cared for means to be cut down. Okay, so there's, there's a balanced way to look at this where sometimes it means I have to destroy it. And sometimes it means I have to move it. And sometimes it stays right where it is and everything's fine. Sometimes I just trim it, you know. The more we learn about our world, the better it is to care for it. Science is just now catching up to this idea. You know, science is a relatively young uh, discipline, doesn't really understand a lot of things. Um, 
So basically this exists in Christianity already and it has in general existed in religion before the scientists and everybody else who's concerned about it decided to do something about it. Um, like I said, I think it's kind of sad that we lost this in the conversation of Christianity because, how do I say it? Because basically it's there. It's there from the beginning. He established um, Adam as a caretaker of everything. And, you know, women help the men do their thing. So women as a caretaker of everything. And that's our job. I think day to day, we should all think about, well, how can I make this a little bit better? How can I do this better? What's a better way to do this other than, you know, the way we're doing it? <clears throat> I try with my trash. Uh, you know, uh, this could be a really big conversation where I think a Christian's life, how a Christian's life should look. Uh, and I can just go through the layers. So, but anyway, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this one. If you haven't joined me before, just let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you can see more from me. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a great day. Remember to pray and read your Bible.